say I really love visible seams. They bring me a lot of joy. I really like how linear they are. And I find them very satisfying to knit. Well, when I do it correctly. <laughs> um, I'm making the easy bulky one by Hohi Locatelli. And I am working on the shoulder seams today. I finished this one and now I'm working on the other one. Um, and I'm really excited to like join out both sides and just like keep knitting around and around. I am weirdly excited. And I've not really felt much mojo for a while, so I'm just gonna like sit here and vibe with this. Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I always forget how early it gets dark. <laughs> it's like, it's like 4 p.m. and it's already like street lights are on. It's dark. Um, anyway, so I did finish, I did finish that shoulder seam and I reached my word count goal for the today. Did some laundry. I dyed a couple of skeins of yarn, nothing too major. Um, and now I think I'm going to do a little bit of painting. You may have noticed this <laughs> in briefly in yesterday's vlogmas when I was clearing the table off. You were probably like, what's she doing with the word saber tooth skull on her table? Um, basically, a little while back I got some art supplies from the company um, Culture Hustle. They have really good paints and really good supplies. Uh, they are a little bit pricier than just buying, you know, <sighs> generic branded stuff, but I really like the quality, especially for their more special stuff. Um, you know, like the color shift stuff and the, and the glow in the dark stuff. And I was trying to come up with some cool projects. Um, to use them for <laughs> and so I was like oh it'd be really cool if I used the they have I think they have black 1.0 2.0 and 3.0 I bought black 2.0 um which is it's not super similar to Vanta Black, which is copyrighted but it's pretty close or patented patented um so I decided it would be fun to paint said skulls with <laughs> this is very Christmassy content isn't it skulls skulls and shoulder seams um, <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun to paint them with, uh, the ultra black and then maybe do some like sort of silver leafing on top of it. I started on a triceratops skull last week. I need to switch arms. I started on a triceratops, um, skull last week, but I ran into the problem that I was using, um, like the silver leaf sheets and, okay, you don't get a very good vantage view with that arm. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Um, I was using the silver leaf sheets and I forgot how annoying silver leaf is to work with. It's not very precise and definitely not precise enough for what I was trying to do. So I sort of gave up on that for the time being and I ordered some silver leaf paint. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on this and then I'm gonna try that silver leaf paint and see <clears throat> how it goes and see if it works. <laughs> so I'm going to start by um, painting it with some of the black 2.0 today and then uh, I'll probably give it a couple of coats and let it dry overnight. So um, it's probably going to be pretty dark but I don't know. I'll show you anyway. Thank you. 